Okay. Man, I I wowed myself away. I bowed myself away. What do you think it is? Uh What's up my Beastfire, it's Beastfire1 here. Welcome to a game called Crystal Confines. This is an RPG Maker uh, game I found on itch.io and I thought it looked really, really cute. I love the art style of it. So let's start a new game. I'm gonna use my uh, my keyboard for this. I tried to use my controller. There once was a snow globe. Inside lived a tiny village. Okay. Inside the snow globe, time stood still. All right. We're in a snow globe now. One day, things changed. Oh, and how did they change? How might they have changed? There, was once, there once was an hourglass. Inside lived a tiny boy. Inside the hourglass, time passed. As with all hourglasses, they tell you how much time has passed. This is the story of Orphrey and Galimathius. I'm, I, I'm assuming I pronounced that correctly, if not, and I feel like three times a day or free must ring the tower bell. So one at 6 a.m., 12 p.m., and 6 p.m. And what does uh, three times a day Galimathius, Galimathius must signal her to do it? Okay, so they work together on that. Order is kept this way. Fair enough. Is that like morning, afternoon, and nighttime? I assume that. Oh, hello. Oh, so cute. So cute. My my duty list. It says, times of the day to ring the bell tower. 6 a.m., 12 p.m., 6 p.m. Be sure to ring according to Galimathias' written si signals. I'll do my best. All right. Uh, My bed. No time for sleeping now. She's so cute. Look at her. Oh, she's so cute. Aw. Uh, what's this? My writing practice. I'm getting better slowly, but surely... That's a little octopus. A weird old jellyfish doll. I wonder where I got that one from. And I bought it. <laughs> a picture book about a merchant and a goddess's journey. Okay. It's a nice blue room. I like blue. Uh, what do we have here? What is this? Uh, Dear Galley, I hope this letter finds you well. Though I wonder how exactly this will reach you to begin with. I'm not exactly sure what to say here, really, so I will end this. By thanking you for all your hard work. Together, we make a good team. Your friend... Or free. Aww. Nice. Okay, I can speed this up. <laughs> or free. So or free is the other- is the guy, right? This is one of my letters- Oh, it's her letter. This is one of my letters to Galli. I'm still missing many more, however. I thought Zatara had them all, but I suppose I lost some on my own as well. I should continue looking around for them while I wait until the time it's time to ring the bell. So why did why did they ring the bell in the first place? To let people know what time it is? I mean, there's, there's clocks for that. I don't know if she's aware. There's clocks. Uh, anything I could interact with? There's paper plates. I mean, not paper plates, just plates. Sink. Alright. Head outside then. Oh, hello. Uh, Sir Manly Faced Jellyfish. Hola! I'm just relaxing, but hey! Remember when your teachers told the sea creatures can't survive the surface? Boy, have they been like living a lie. You too. Ho ho ho. Anyway, wanna say? Sure, why not? Alright. Hi. Uh, I'll be, I'll be the, the snowman in the blink of an eye. Like, literally, I blinked and there it was. Is that you? Oh, baby! Hello! How you doing? Do you like my earmuffs today? I don't know why I'm wearing them either. My mama made me. My snowman, though. He's kind of chewy, you know. But I don't like sh shadowing. Shucks, what a pup to... What's a pup to do, Ovi? Uh, I'll help. Great! <laughs> Can you work well for warm things? You you shouldn't have to work inside buildings. Also, one thing at a time, please. Don't worry, snowman friend. You will be warm soon. <laughs> not sure if I like this. Um, so it's nine buildings, and I need to find something. Oh, it's a hat. I like a hat. Tiny woolly hat received. Let's get this to Albedo. All right. Hey, Albedo. I'm coming. I'm coming. 
I'm gonna give you something. I found a little hat for your snow snowman. Wonderful! I want the um, so I'm white now. Look for more. Okay. Oh, he has the hat now. Wonderful. Okay. Where could those other items be? What am I looking for exactly? A scarf? Oh. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Tiny wool scarf received. Let's go give it to Albedo. I've got a nice warm scarf for your snowman. I've got it right here in my hands. Hands. Uh, yippee! You're doing real good! One more thing, please! Okay. Knowing, uh... Knowing, uh, fetch quests, I think this last one will be somewhere up here. Somewhere up here. Where is it? Who knows? I like that that background just moving. Da, 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 da. Or maybe it's over here. And I'm a big dumb. No? Where is it? Where did you go? I want to find the thing. Oh, there we go. Mitts. Nice. I can't believe I missed them. Tenny wool mittens received. Albedo, Albedo, or whatever your name is. Come, come and get some. Come and get these mitts. Oh, wow, we did it. What? You did it? Oh, don't be selfish. My mom was the boy is Beto. <laughs> Let's get these bad boys on them. <gasps> there was something in the mitten. You can have it as a reward, capiche? 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 Have it as a reward, capiche? Get on my face. Albedo, those are my... Those are my winter essentials. Bring those back right now! Winter essentials? Oh, wet, sorry, snowman. Well, your time is over. Uh, uh, clothing be gone! A uh, clothing be gone. Oh, so. I just did that for. <laughs> I just did that for not? Oh, come on. Alright, what's this one? Dear Galley, Satara, our, our village writer, has been teaching me more and more. His job is to tr transcribe or turn messages into written words. Interesting, isn't it? In fact, he's writing this very letter. He taught me how to read your numbers uh, that are so important for us all. We do not know how to write, which is why we are lucky to have Satara. Why? Well, the use uh, or need for writing is little since we are all so close together. Most times we just talk. However, you gave me an important reason to want to learn. I hope to learn everything there is to know so I can read everything you write. Numbers aside, your work in progress, friend, or free. So she's finding letters to... to Galamathius. Uh, but why, though? Scribe, let's go in here. Okay, finally, explore. Hello. Lots of books and calligraphy, poetry, and novels. Is that, okay. A bed? It smells like dust. I wonder when the last time Satara got a good night's rest was. Lots of books. Lots of writing. Tons of beautifully handwritten transcriptions, as well as the smell of blood, sweat, and tears. Blood? Uh, good morning, Orfrey. How are you? Oh. Uh, eh, me. A little early to be busy, really, but I guess I'm okay. Say, if you aren't too busy, a uh, helping hand would be very re appreciated. Yep. Thank you. Do you think you could help me tidying up a bit in here? I'm sadly a walking trip hazard, so this situation wouldn't fare well with me. Okay. So let's clean this up. Let's clean it up. Piles of paper received. Piles of paper received. A book received. Trip, trip hazard book. A trip hazard book, that's what it is. Piles of paper, book, piles of paper, and piles of paper. All the piles of paper. All the piles of paper, the Peter Piper picked, picked, Peter Piper picked a pile of papers. A pickled papers. Uh, is there a note on there? No? The, uh, this one? No? Alright. I think that's all. Is that good? Eh? You're done? Fantastic. Hmm? Uh, looks like one of your notes found its way here, huh? Thanks again, Orfrey. Go, enjoy the lovely day it is. While I sit here, working. Oh, alone. <laughs> oh, there's there's a note right there. Let's see what this one says. Dear Galley, I really like when you draw on the sand, but doesn't it frustrate you when the si when the f uh, falling sand eventually covers your work, though? The same goes for your writing. I'm a little surprised that it doesn't seem to phase you. Maybe it's because you know, too. Your wandering friend, Orfrey. Orfrey? 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 <laughs> Okay, let's go back out and find those the rest of the uh the uh letters. I write to uh, the Time Lord, apparently. 
Living by myself is great. It's quiet, it's peaceful, with nobody around. I like it this way. Yeah! <laughs> what? It's just the sound of me enjoying being alone. I like being alone. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> okay. See you later, man. Hope you, uh... It's locked, nobody's home. So that's my house. So let's go over here. Hello. Hi. Two of the same people. <laughs> my wife is a way... My wife is way too excited about snow. Considering it snows every day here. <laughs> it's okay though, it's cute. <laughs> nice. When people get older, they seem to get grumpier about snow. Not me though, I love it. You'll never hear a complaint out of me. How about it? I hear ya. Frick yeah, snow rules. Frick yeah, dude. Frick yeah. Alright, hello. St I'm gonna talk to Snowman again. A, n a very nudie snowman. <laughs> Man, snow um, Snowman was such a worker. Thanks again, Ophwee. Too bad my mama doesn't like when I use her quoting like that. But it okay. I just, I will sneak it back out in a little while. Okay, you do that. I won't help you though. That was kind of tedious. Oh, hello. This is a bakery. A mop with a strange red stain on it. Okay, boy, am I hungry. I just ate breakfast, so I'm not. Plates and silverware. The music just got way louder in here. An oven. Smells pleasant. A refrigerator. It's chilling. Delicious looking dough. I have, a, I have about 60 seconds before I have to ring the bell. I should head over now. Oh, hello. Is this still go? I'm great, silly me. Could you help him out? Uh, sorry, I can't. Okay, I need to ring the bell. Does this actually correspond to the time on my clock? No, it's only 10 a.m. So, how do I ring the bell? Oh, I have to go up to the uh, tower thing. I see, I see. Gotcha. All right, let's go then. Get me up there. Get me up to the bell. Bell tower. Hi. Hi, Gala Matthias. Yep. <laughs> Thumbs up. Aw. So cute. I have some time before the 6 p.m. bell. I should try to keep looking for my letters and helping some, out some friends. So is there is there a penalty for not doing that? For not helping out everyone? I assume I assume not, but uh, Nimbus's pies are so delicious. His bakery should be open 24/7. Shouldn't be closed so early. Can I go over to the bakery? Oh, oh, I could have helped out Nimbus. Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see Ali, because it's winter time. <laughs> It's locked. Where else could I go? There's something up here. Yeah. Let's go in here. Hello. Hi. Hey, what if I told you to get the heck out of here? Yeah, I wouldn't listen to me either. <sighs> I'm gonna stay in here all I want. My friend is working on being more assertive, but he's about as intimidating as a baby seal. Poor guy. Maybe I should give him less of a hard time. Nah. <laughs> That's a good friend. Just always, always on, on, your, on your friend's tail. Hello? Lock? No one's home? How about you? Where's that little albedo? Man, every time I agree to play hide and seek with that kiddo, she's forgot we were playing and goes up doing something completely different. Uh, building a snowman, I suppose. Building snowman. I'm going here. Oh! Oh, there she is. Oh. You know what's important to remember? It's okay to do the same things every day, as long as it makes you happy. So long as you're taking care of yourself, taking breaks, and spicing up your routine every now and then, it really isn't harming anyone now, is it? You might be surprised, actually. Went up here. Hello. It's off we part two. I'm dwelling on the window right now. Getting kind of bowing, uh, getting kind of bowing by myself though. Wanna play a game? Sure. Oh wait, let me explain the rules. I dwell, and you guess. Easy, right? My art is great, it, so it should be. Real easy. Trust me. Let's begin. Round one. Okay. Okay. A masterpiece, ain't it? Now, if we, what is it? It's... It's a peanut. Yeah! Aw, <laughs> oh, peanuts are... Off we... I, I say funny like that for some reason. <laughs> and away we go to round two. Okay. Man, I... I wow myself away. I wow myself away. What do you think it is? Uh... Uh, it's you. Yeah! <laughs> Have you ever seen when I turn a while like this? <laughs> At the side. <laughs> a striking with them once, I'd say. 
You're doing great. We're on three. Here we come. Oh. Okay. What's wrong? Are you awestruck by my skills? I am too. There's no way you can mess this one up. Many worms. Having a party. <laughs> That's what I would do. No! Well, how did you get this wrong? Worms are gross. Who wanna who don't wanna go to a worm party? Not ew, not I, ew. But I guess, since I'm feeling nice, I'll give you this one. It's actually a bunch of squibbles. Two lots, am I right? Anyway, we've done. Woohoo! Great job, Mofi! Oh yeah, I saw this play on the ground. Maybe it's yours. Oh yay, letter. Let's see what this one says. Dear Galley, in all honesty, when I look at you, it's hard to tell what you're thinking. You seem so relaxed about having nobody around you. Although I'm surrounded by many, I feel sad and lonely sometimes. I know it isn't right, it's a little selfish even, uh, to assure things, to assume things about you by comparing myself to what only I can see. I hope you forgive me for that. Your hopeful friend, Orfrey. Aw, are they, are they, do they have crushes on each other? Are they in love? <laughs> Maybe. They look at each other every day. It's like no one's home. So where else can I go? So there's no one there. So there's no one- is there no one in the bakery? It's closed. So where else can I go here? A very- a very happy not New East snowman. Albedo must have taken her mother's things. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, she's, she did say she would do that. The snowman has so much class, you know? I'm in love, I think. I think. Want to save? Sure. I'll do that. Lock, no one's home. Scribe? Scribe here? Hi. There's stuff on the ground again. Afternoon, Orfrey. Hmm, and a bit of a bind afraid I again, I'm afraid. Too much to get done. Need help? I'd appreciate that, really. I organized the client's papers in color order. But my clumsy self dropped the papers. And suddenly, they are unorganized. I wonder how that happened. Aha, ha, ha. Ha. <laughs> Do you think you can reorganize them for me? From lightest to darkest. Okay. Lightest to darkest would be... Uh... I don't know which one... Which, which one would be considered light. Uh, this one. Paper one received. Uh, paper two received. Paper 3 received, previous, oh. Paper 3 received, paper 4 received, and paper 5 received. There we go. Finished, hmm? Wonderful, let's see. Looks good, thanks again. Eh, hey, also, I found another note of yours. Whew, not too much work left. That may or not, may not be a lie. You're just overworking yourself, boy. Alright. Dear Galley, it's amazing how a person's mere presence can make others happy. I always try to ensure every everybody that even distance is present. Uh, far away or not, friends are friends. Because I think, no matter how far apart you are, you can still be there for each other. It reminds me of our own friendship. We can't talk or even communicate through writing properly. We can only wave, smile, and make each other laugh. But being there, knowing we both exist in each other's presence, that's all that makes me happy. I wonder if you feel the same. You're curious, friend, or free. Aww. She wants to know. She wants to know, but he'll never know because he doesn't read. He he he, he won't read them. Uh, okay. How much time do I have until I ring the bell? Not too long, I suppose. Let's go over to the bakery see if I can't uh help out there. Or he's still on break. Yep, still on break. What am I supposed to do now? What is this is I'm supposed to do? Can someone tell me what I'm supposed to do? I saw someone over here. Yeah, you. Hello? Ah, it's all free. Are you taking a break too, dearie? Oh, it's Nimbus. Oh, you're the you're the bakery gal. Alright. Okay. What do I suppose what am I supposed to do now? No need to ring the bell yet. Okay. Can I go draw with you again? <laughs> that was so fun. Thanks for playing with me, Alfrey. I like you. <laughs> I like you a lot. I've been told that snow is supposed to melt. Melting snow supposedly reveals new life from beneath repre uh, from re beneath represents a new chapter. What a bunch of baloney. I don't think we'll ever get a new chapter. Snow melting just sounds like a myth to me. Oh, you... If you come to Canada, believe me. I always wonder if Gal Galimathias eats well over there. If at all, actually. I find myself worrying about it often. Especially when he grows thinner. It's a bit concerning. I'd love to invite him to a meal someday. Well, if things ever change, I mean. 
Eating by yourself is bad, but the uh, but the company of others is extra comforting. Yep, breakfast, lunch. I made sure he eats dinner. He eats well. Nice. I wonder if he eats too. I wonder what does he eat there? Sand. <laughs> what else do you have to say? Why not dinner? Well, you already know that, silly Orfrey. Not a lot of people like what I what I like. What do you like? You haven't already noticed. I think Albedo was looking for you, or someone or someone to play with. Playing with Albedo is truly tiring. I tried to avoid it to no su success. I already played. If you haven't already know, yeah, 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 yeah. I have about sixty seconds before I have to ring the bell. I should over head over now. All right, let's go. Let's go ring the bell. Finally, I don't think there was anything else to do there. I forgot to help out in the bakery, but you know. I wonder if I had if I had done that then. Hi, hi, Galamathias, our gal. Oh, I smiling. Hello. Nice to nice to see you. I have some time before I had to meet a uh, galley at 12 a.m. I should try to keep looking for my letters and helping out some friends. Okay. Okay. Go back to the bakery. What do you say? Ah, Orfrey, you're on the stroll too. I got a lot of work done today. I mean, I can't say I'm entirely well alive after it, but it's done. Good for you. Good, good, good for you. Let's go to the bakery, see if uh, she's there. Oh, yay. It's open. What the heck happened here? What the heck? What the are you? What? Welcome, Orph. How's it going? It's a slow night, as always. Is no one passionate about blood pie like I am? <laughs> what? This went from zero to a hundred real quick. Maybe we should start passing it off as cherry. Anyway, maybe it's not present too presentable in here, I guess. What do you say, Orph? Want to let a hand? Okay. Knew I could rely on a peach like yourself. Think you could mop up those uh, cherry syrup stains? Hey, <laughs> mop's right over there. Okay, I knew, I knew, I knew you were like a, like a freak. Suspicious red stain, be gone, be gone, be gone, evil doer, be gone. Uh, should I be concerned about uh, about you, Nimbus? Red stain, red stain, red stain. There you go. Hi. Done already? If I didn't know any better, it, I don't, it almost seemed like you're used, used to doing this. <laughs> just joking, I think. Jokes aside, I was wiping my counter I saw another note that might be yours. Thanks again for your help, Worf. Okay, get me out of here. Get me out of here. <laughs> um, dear Galley, happiness feels only temporary sometimes. I feel like you don't know Galamathias, but there's something very different about the two of us. Satara teaches me things that, I, that at one point did not make sense sets here, and still don't in a way. A past or a future? Age? Things like that don't exist here. With your help, we've only created an illusion that they do. But in reality, time only stands still here. Nothing ages, nothing changes. That's why I was so confused when I first saw you. It was something I've never seen before. I think about this more than I would like to. I'm sorry. Your weary work friend, Orfrey. Alright. I'm gonna get out of here because this music is very creepy. I don't want to go in there ever ever again. Hello. Snowman, I need to confess my feelings. I'd give you my hat, my scarf, my everything. Maybe it's time to step away. This seems personal. Good luck. <laughs> a very happy and not nudie snowman. That looks very excited to be about being confessed to. Aw, nice. Want to save? Ah, uh, heck yeah, I do. After going through that, I don't think I want to do it ever again. Scribe, hello. Oh yeah, she's out. All right, let me cut to something when it's interesting. Having a best friend who sleeps while you're awake is very frustrating, to be honest with you. Only getting to talk for an hour or two isn't enough for me. Well, I lie. Any amount of time spent with my best friend is a good time spent, I suppose. Nice nice words. Nice words. I agree. I think sleeping at night is for squares. Only the coolest circles, such as myself, sleeps perfectly fine during the day. The sun is harder on my eyes, too, anyway. It's better this way. Somebody in this room doesn't seem to think so, though. <laughs> um, <laughs> cough, cough, wheeze, nudge, nudge. <laughs> the bakery's lights are on, but it smells kind of repulsive near the entrance. No freshly baked fruit pie smells smell by any means. Yeah, you'd be surprised of what's in there. How about you? Oh, hello. Hello. I can't believe she wants to have a napping party. Can't you convince her to break out the good stuff? Like, you know, board games? <laughs> oh, yes. I, every time I go to, uh, to, to a party, my friend's like, ah, oh, you get the good stuff? It's like, yeah, and, they, and we pull out Monopoly. <laughs> uh, hello. 
Ugh, I wish. She really seems dead set on doing this, though. Why don't we just pretend to sleep, and when she falls asleep, you and I, we break out the board games. It's a win-win situation, really. What do you have to say about this? We're having a party. What kind of party, huh? Good question, my friend. It's going to be a napping party. Friends and naps are the key essentials of life, after all. I would seem to agree. I like napping. Napping is great. Sleep is great. I like sleep. Hello. I always wonder what a night in the desert is like. It's so vast. It must look. It must be extra nice looking at the sky. Only Gallimathius will ever know, huh? That's true, huh? Oh, hey. Hello. How's your writing practice coming along, Orphrey? Sorry I haven't had much time to tutor you lately. And for losing the transcript I wrote for you. And for not having time to look for it. I'm a mess. Don't worry. It's locked. Someone must be sleeping. There's a lot to do in this town, surprisingly. I've been playing for a good amount of time. There's a lot of dialogue here. Snow looks its prettiest at night. Indeed it does. Indeed it does, I agree. Must be sleeping. Must be sleeping. Hello. <gasps> hey, Albedo. Off we! How's it going? I'm bored. My mama went to one of uh, some errands. What are you doing over here? Albedo's many drawings. Uh, they're all over the place, I assume. Da -da 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 -da. This bed looks neat, but I can only imagine a very angry mama albedo and a jumping albedo. No harm done there. What's here? A ton of picture books. The only kinds of books we can really understand. Full of toys, as expected. Alright, bye. Bye, albedo. I always wonder why you asked me to write that. The transcript, she says. I struggle to understand how you'll even give it to him. <sighs> Sorry, I don't mean to be a pessimist. Although, Orfrey, you know it's true too, don't you? That's why you always look so disappointed, huh? You know, I sometimes feel a bit, a little overwhelmed. Thinking about how many things exist outside of what I know or see. I'd love to explore it all someday, really. And maybe, just maybe, this class breaking would be a great excuse to escape from my work. Hmm. <sighs> Orfrey, I genuinely hope that for the best. For both ours and Galamathius' future. Even though... Ah, uh, never mind. You and I both know, both know saying it won't change things. What does that mean? Aw, I want it to be great. I want it to be good. Well, well then what time is it to meet Galley then? I can't see a clock. I have about 60 seconds before I have to meet up with Galley. I should head over there now. Let's go. I notice I'm, I'm roughly in the same place when I have to go ring the bell. All right. There's nothing else to do here. So, 12 a.m. And then time went on. As it does all the time. End. Oh, okay. That was that was interesting. That was really interesting. Thanks for playing. Thank you for making it. Thank you so much. Oh, it's a little it's a little octopus still. Oh, that's so cool. So do they? It's that that's how they do it. That's how they go about their day out all the time. I wonder if I had helped out in the bakery the first time, uh, would I have gotten more context to like the uh the, the lore the story in this game. But I like that. I hope. I I'm, I kind of want a sequel where like, uh, where like the glass actually does break, and then like, uh, 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 Galamathius actually comes over to see her, as this or see Orfrey. But that was really nice. It was really cute. It, it, I recorded for about half an hour. So this should this this won't take long if you want to play for yourself, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Uh, like uh, the description for the game as always. Uh, like, comment, share with a friend on social media. Consider subscribing if you haven't already. And until then, fight the beast, my friends. Stay awesome. Have a great day. See you all next time. Bye.